Going to the high school prom is a rite of passage for many young women, but some don't get to realize that milestone due to the high cost of dresses and accessories. Tracy Tong now with a project that makes prom possible for hundreds of deserving high school students. This is my first time wearing this kind of fancy dresses, fancy shoes. Everything is for the first time and that's why I'm so excited. Like I've never been there. It's like, oh my God, like what's going to happen there? I don't know. It's a dream come true for more than 300 teenage girls. As they rifle through racks of dresses and get pampered for prom. As soon as they get here, as soon as they get paired with their personal shopper, they're, you see a complete change in their demeanor and they are so, so happy and so impressed. And this is all for free. So today, all these girls have to do is say yes to the dress. It's just so fitting and I like the bling and everything about it. I thought it was what I was looking for. I love this dress. Do you feel like a princess or what? I do. I do. And it's not just about finding that perfect dress. We also need a purse, a shawl, don't forget the shoes, and the accessories. Now, prom for the average girl can cost about $500, and it's more than Naoshin says she could afford. When I first heard about the fees of a prom, it was really expensive, and I thought that like, I can never make it, I cannot go to prom. She wanted to work to save money for these days, and then I told her, no, baby, I will purchase. I will manage anyhow. Uh, but I did not know that uh, she applied for uh, this prom dress. Similar stories of financial struggle for the hundreds of girls here, but thanks to the Corsage Project and the Children's Aid Society, the dream of prom is now a reality. Like, oh my God, and my dream came true. Yeah, I feel emotional, sort of. Look at her. Does she look beautiful? Yeah, of course. <laughs> she looks beautiful. <laughs> and I am really, really proud of her. <laughs> The Corsage Project has been outfitting girls for 14 years now, and although we're still about a month away from prom season, many of these girls say they already feel like prom queens. In the Toronto Reference Library, I'm Tracy Tong, City News.